Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you an important security update for your TapLock One. Okay, so if you've got a TapLock One or one of any of the TapLock series, um, you'll have noticed recently in the press, or maybe you haven't, that there's been a um, sort of a security breach on these devices which needs addressing. Now there's a two part uh, problem here, one of which is a, a physical security issue, which is where the disc on the back actually comes loose. There is actually a fixing pin which holds that in place, which in the manufacturing process some uh, locks have actually been able to twist the back plate to gain access to the insides, which obviously isn't a good thing. So if you find the, your back plate does move, then contact TapLock directly at the uh, information below and hopefully they'll try and resolve it for you. I'm not going to make any promises for them, but uh, I would imagine as a goodwill gesture, they'll sort it out for you. But the second part of this problem is a Bluetooth issue. Now, the Bluetooth encryption on here was very easy to crack. Um, they maintained it as military-grade AES 128-bit encryption, uh, but the way the encryption was implemented wasn't particularly good. And um, the website called Pentest Partners have actually managed to get into it very quickly using very basic hardware. So TapLock uh, have come out and said, right, okay, hands up, there's a problem. So they've created a new firmware for the device. So if you've got this TapLock, first thing to do is to get the new TapLock app, which you can download from the Play Store or just go into the app itself and check for updates. And the second part is a firmware update. So when you have the device connected to Bluetooth with the app open, there's an option for you to do that. So I'm going to go over now to the computer and show you how it's done. OK, so first thing to do is open up the TapLock app. And make sure you've got the latest version, like I said, and turn your lock into Bluetooth mode. So a couple of quick presses on the button on the bottom of your TapLock, and your blue flashing light will come on, and it should start to connect via your Bluetooth. Now, hopefully, you should get this message come up straight away saying there's a new firmware update and please go into lock setting and then firmware update to start the update process. So if you click on your lock and then go down to the bottom to lock setting and you've got the option for firmware update, find a new version, but hopefully you will find that it will come up automatically, but if not just click on the button and it says there's a new update available. So I was telling you there's a new firmware, version 1001, and you can update the content. Now they're saying about there's a, a bug in the lock, but it, I think it's more actually to do with the encryption. So you start the update, and it'll begin updating the firmware and downloading it. Now at this point, you don't want to um, move your phone or your tap lock away from each other. And just be patient while the tap lock downloads the information it needs. So once it's done that, it'll go through a rebooting process. And then you can try and reconnect to your tap lock. Again, turn on Bluetooth mode. So a couple of quick presses on the button at the bottom. And the Bluetooth should reconnect. And then you can check your firmware update. And there you go. Your tap lock has been upgraded to the latest version. So you can click OK and that is it, that's your job done. So you can close the app and carry on using the tap lock as you have been. Pretty simple. So there we go, there's our tap lock one firmware updated. So hopefully now we're a little bit more secure than we were previously. But obviously uh, if you're not sure about this, if you've got any problems or questions, please either put them in the comment section below or contact tap lock directly at the links below. Um, and if you want to stay subscribed so you can keep up to date with all the latest information on the latest updates to what happens with the TapLock 1 and the TapLock in general, please do click on the button and click on the chime icon next to it so you get notified every time there's an updated video. But in the meantime, this has been the TapLock 1. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And we'll catch you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.